Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the maintenance activity Kaiserslautern. My name is Markus Kappel and I'm the director of this repair activity. With this movie we would like to show you the ADR process. At this point in time I would like to introduce Mr. James Neitzel, my deputy and the ADR specialist. Hello and welcome to MAC. The purpose of this MWO is to provide data, parts, information and work procedures for upgrading the M1078A1 P2 vehicle to European Standards ADR. The first step you will take, you will inventory your parts according to the installation instructions parts list. The equipment condition is the vehicle must be TM1020, tarpon bow kit installed, and service and maintained in accordance with AR750-1. There are no special tools required for this application. A general mechanics toolkit and a common number one automotive shop set or SAT sets will be sufficient to perform this application. Step one, the UN warning sign and mounting bracket installation left rear of the vehicle. Remove left rear mud flap, retain mud flap, metal bracket, and bolts for further use. Clamp frame pegboard and mark drill holes pattern. Center punch all marked and drill holes to 3 8 inch diameter. Upper cross member must be cut in the center with a metal saw. Remove bracket from workbench and install on vehicle. Insert three OEM bolts through frame pegboard newly drilled holes through the retaining metal bracket, through the rubber mud flap, and attach to the left rear fender by securing with three nuts clamp bent arms to the support brackets of the fender. Center punch and drill a 3 8 hole to secure with a bolt and nut. Step 2. Hazard class placard base plate and bracket installation to the right rear of the vehicle. Position bracket to right rear vehicle as shown, holding under right rear tail light. Mark drill hole pattern. Center punch and drill 3 8 inch holes. Attach bracket with hardware provided. Attach part number 8F1ST to install bracket with two each screws. Part number M6X20D92158 and two each nuts. Part number M6D IN985-8ZN. Step 3. Hazard class placard base plate and bracket installation left and right side of cargo bed of vehicle. Identify mounting position to the side of vehicle rear cargo drop side panel. Center punch and drill a one quarter inch hole to each intersection. Secure part number 8F1ST to vehicle by inserting screw through the two holes of the brackets. Then through washer, easily identified as the thickest washer in the hardware provided. And insert into drill holes. Caution, ensure tab of the placard bracket is pointing toward the, the rear and upwards of the vehicle. Repeat this process on the opposite side of the vehicle. Step four, attach UN warning sign and mounting bracket to the front of the vehicle. Remove bolt from grill. Identify the hole on part number 1.74 ST to be enlarged to one half inch. Enlarge hole, fasten part number 1.4 ST to grill and level center punch and drill to three eighths inch. Insert bolt through bracket and drilled hole and fastened with nut. Hint, removing grill after marking but before drilling the hole may make this task easier. You will find this task in replacement work package task found in Electronical Manual 0294. 
Step five, mount chalk block bracket and fire extinguisher brackets to left side center of vehicle. Drill holes to dimensions, insert bolts through brackets and secure with nut. Fire extinguisher bracket, center punch, drill holes and secure with bolt and nut. Attach cable assembly to chalk block bracket loop as shown with same threading and crimping procedures previously shown. Install fire extinguishers into brackets and secure with straps provided. Install cover over each fire extinguisher. Step six, install tow pintle security pin to rear a vehicle. Remove OEM cotter pin from chain. Thread cable through eyelet of part number FMTV pin. Attach cable assembly to pin lock with same threading and crimping procedures. Insert security pin through OEM tow pin travel lock hole and install hairpin lock. Step seven, attach speed limit and emergency battery disconnect labels inside operator compartment, left side dash panel of vehicle. Peel paper backing off self adhesive label and attach speed limit sign to dash panel okay. as shown. Cut emergency battery disconnect label and attach to vehicle dash panel as shown. Step eight, insulate wiring harness to IP65 standard for speaker mounted in cargo bed area or remove speaker and cable from cargo bed area. Wrap installed conduit with the electrical tape as shown. Reconnect cable. This concludes the mechanical tasks for applying the ADR kit to the M1078A1 P2 FMTV. The next and final step is to contact the TLSEE SPO plans and operations at DSN 314-483-3340 or commercial 0631-414-3340 and schedule an appointment with one of our ADR certifying officials. Once certified, the vehicle will be allowed to safely transport explosive substances on European highways. Please do not forget to download the text version of this video. We look forward to supporting you. The best supporting the best, whatever it takes.